Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with Google Recapture version 2 and with our WP Event Manager's Google Recapture add-on. So in our previous video, I showed you the exact steps for the uh, version 3 API key and secret key retrieval and how to configure them in the WordPress site itself. And today is going to be less or more uh, the same path, but uh, for the version 2 and I'm going to show you step by step how you can do that. So to get started, we can obviously have to go to the settings section of WP Event Manager and from there we're going to switch to the Google Recapture tab and over here you can see uh, I have already Google Recapture 3 versions uh, site key and secret key populated uh, but we're going to switch to Recapture 2 and we're going to fill out these details very shortly when we actually obtain them from Google. So in a new tab you will see we have opened uh, google.com slash recapture so this is the official website of recapture right now over here you will have to uh, go to this version 3 admin console but uh, bear with me it's not what it seems like it's an admin console for recapture but i don't know why they branded it as version 3 uh, over there we will be able to generate version 2 api key or site keys so let's go there this will be a good time to log into your google account if you haven't already and this is our dashboard since we already have a site so this is the dashboard how, what it looks like but if you don't have a site already into google recapture registered uh you will see like a form over here when you land here okay since we have a site uh, this is good uh, i'm going to show you how to add a new site when you have a site in your recapture console already so all you have to do is click on this little plus second over here and over here th this so this form will be same form when you land on the Google Recapture website and if you don't have a website already registered. So the steps are totally identical, all right? So let's follow. Uh, we can type a label for our website for identification purpose. So I can type in my event platform v2, all right? And over here we can select the Recapture version two. So if you ask me like what's the difference between recapture version 3 and version 2 I given an explanation in our previous video but I'm gonna like very briefly go over it once again. So version 3 is like more intelligent uh, score based evaluations evaluations for the traffic you are getting in there into a WordPress website. Uh, it verifies the uh, request with a score uh, in their internal metrics. All right and recapture version 2 presents you with a physical challenge if required so the famous i am not a robot tick box that we see uh, all over the internet that's available and invisible recapture badge okay so obviously we're gonna take more look into it uh, in our next upcoming video so what we're gonna do i'm gonna select i am not a robot checkbox okay and we're gonna add a domain name over here where we're gonna run the recapture script so this is gonna be your website domain name no www no https no slashes nothing just type in your bare minimum domain name okay so i'm going to type in my event platform.com and then obviously we need to accept the terms and service then we can click on submit and it will present us with a site key and a secret key which we're going to copy first then we're going to paste it here then we can copy the secret key paste it over here all right so that's all that's all you require to do uh in order to get a recapture site key and secret key from google uh, once you have obtained them you have pasted them over here you can just click go on and click on save changes uh, just one thing to make sure of when you are adding your google recapture uh, site key and secret key over here make sure you know do not mismatch them with version 2 and version 3 so if you have a version 3 recapture site key and site url make sure that you have selected the capture type version 3 over here or if you have a version 2 of the variant then make sure you have selected the radio box version 2 that's pretty much uh concludes this video let me know in the comment if you have any kind of confusion or questions i'll be sure to help you out in there and until next time i'm sure saying goodbye thank you very much for watching i'll catch you in the next one